to Brilio, so buckle up, sister. You <gasps> That's harsh. I thought that you would like this. Oh, OK, so we're at Hillary Berry's house, and it's on the North Shore, and they don't actually let brown people here, so I'm going to get in before Neighbourhood Watch finds me. Great. Pills, I'm here, love. Put the kettle on. We're not really friends in real life, so this is, this is what TVNZ make us do. Oh, hi! Lovely to see nice you. Nice to see you. Oh, what a beautiful house. Oh, Very postmodernistic. Right. Is it? I don't know. Okay, now do the intro to the show because I can't be fucked. Okay. Tonight on Anika Moore Unleashed, inside the home of the fabulous Hilary Barry. Some say she's mentally ill, others describe her as mutton. And Lord only knows what overseas visitors think of her. Let's find out, shall we? And now, your host, Anika Moore. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Hilary Barry, Nee Pankhurst, mother, journalist, former head prefect, auntie of the nation, named favourite New Zealand female personality in 2006. One of our favourite local power dressers, according to Viva, a.k.a. Hillsbaz, a.k.a. Hizabaza, a.k.a. Hornbags. Kia ora and welcome to your home. Sing me a waiata by way of welcome. Ka waiata kia maria hinei whakai whakameatia mai ke... I've forgotten the rest. I'm so bad, I can't remember the words. Hinei rangi marie. Kia ora. Kia ora. It was amazing. How did you get to be head prefect? Were I you popular? I truly don't know. Well, what, were you brainy? Not particularly. Well, I was average. Yeah. And um, I just was, I guess, into everything. I give things a go. It's yeah. like sport. I give things a go. I'm hopeless, but I'm up for it. You played cricket, though. Yeah. I was in the first 11 at school. There was, there was only one 11. And we struggle to make up the numbers sometimes. <laughs> I'll get her in, don't worry. Hey, but I got in the photo. <laughs> what a fucking mess. Yeah. This is me being the baddest that I've ever been. Oh, shit, this is going to be naughty. Is That's... this your plan, actually, yeah. to get me saying inappropriate things yep. and then get me fired? Yeah, and they'll fire you. You've got and my old... job. Mm. Oh, it's all making sense. Well, out with the old and with the new. I'm not that old. I'm still in my 40s. Just... Is it your birthday today? Yes. <laughs> You're under 50, eh, today? I'm 49. <gasps> Shit. Yeah, it's a proud day. <laughs> oh, it's ready. Oh, birthday cake. I made myself one. Oh, <laughs> oh look, it came out perfectly. Wow. Do you mind chopping up the strawberries? Yep, sure. I'm just picking that maybe you might be a bit rough with them. So a little bit rough if you wouldn't yeah. mind just cutting them into fours like that okay. so they're nice and pretty. I'll try my best. OK, great. Thanks, Hills. We're such best friends off screen and on screen. I'm hey. going to make the ganache. No, OK. OK, sorry about the noise. Hey, is it real loud? It's not that bad. You're going to melt it. Put the blade in. Oh, ha! <laughs> it feels so cool being a white person for the day. I'd let you do this, but it's my birthday. It's my birthday. OK, cheers. Happy birthday. Thanks, babes. Hope you make it to 50. Mm. Why would you say that? I wasn't... Uh, this cake's beautiful. I'm going to live troll you right now. <laughs> One of your first jobs was working at Paul Henry's radio station in Carterton. Paint us a picture of those crazy days. He wanted a journalist to write his news for the morning show, so he rang up journalism school in Wellington where I was just finishing off yeah. and asked if they had anyone who was cheap. And I, they, clearly like, identified, they clearly identified me as the cheapest. Yeah. And I kind of went over there and started working for him for $19,000 a year. What, was that was, big money oh, back then? No, oh, but okay. I thought it was because it was my first job. Do you like him as a broadcaster? I think he's a very, very good broadcaster. No, and I mean that. I mean that hand on heart. Sometimes I'd watch the show and go, oh, he's just said something stupid, and she's going, oh, FML. <laughs> so, were there moments of, of FML of moments? Of <laughs> he's, he's ridiculous, isn't he? Yeah. What's your party trick? I can gargle the Star Trek theme. They 
say you shouldn't feed the trolls, but you do. You even <gasps> That's harsh. I pick my moments. You even used the C word once, and Clark Gayford calls it all. Discuss. Well, there was a headline in the paper that insinuated that Clark Gayford was babysitting the first baby. Mm -hmm. He was parenting. It, it gets on my wick, that whole when dads are in charge of the kids, they're babysitting, and yeah. when women are looking after the kids, they're parenting. So I just kind of pointed that out. And then someone, someone called was, you. Someone called me the c word, and you said. And I embraced the c word when someone else uses it as a derogatory term for a woman. I'd go, it's spectacular. Don't be using I agree. that word. I yeah. agree with Thank you, sister. You. Yeah. Thank you. Duncan Grieve from the spin-off wrote: Trying to find someone with a bad word to say about Barry would be a long and fruitless day. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I found these in about ten minutes. Now you get to read them out into this camera. Okay. She's a giggling Gertie, that one. Overheard by Anika in the Koru Lounge. Koru membership. Turned out to be seven blunt. Boring. Poor camera work. Inappropriate comments. Sandra via Facebook. Thanks, Sandra. This person is mentally ill, not to mention a loser. <laughs> From a YouTuber called Douglas Cook. I have in my mind who these people are. <laughs> You're good at handling trolls online, but can you handle live trolling? I'm going to live troll you right now, OK? Are you ready? Yes. OK. Oh, I'm a troll. My name is Wartface. <laughs> Get ready for trolling. This house is nice. The Glenfield. <laughs> Did that hurt? No. You look old enough to be my mum, off camera. <laughs> you have perfect titties for a 16-year-old boy. <laughs> now you control me. Well, they're actually quite funny. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't be mean to you. No, be mean. <sighs> you did the thing. I don't know. I don't cry, baby. Oh, I'm sweaty. Wow, she sweats a lot. And then Kamoa. Why can't she stop sweating? It's because it's humid. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> People might think I'll go easy on you because I like being on your show, Seven Sharp, and I'm in love with you. But as this is the last show on TV to actually ask the hard questions, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to grill you, so buckle up, sister. OK. No giggling, smirking, or doing that Hillary Barry thing with your nose. And sit up straight. Cue the serious music. No. That's it. Does the thought of Judith Collins becoming the boss of us one day give you the shits, or does it excite you? The shits. Why don't we let old ladies read the news, apart from you? We should. Talk us through TV3's reign of terror under CEO Mark Weldon. If you had to explain the whole thing to a child, how would you tell the story? I'll start you off. <laughs> Once upon a time, Mark Weldon walked into the building with lollies and candy. Bottles of wine. And bottles of wine. And then he went, you're all fired, you bunch of fuckwits. A little bit like that, little but I, I really shouldn't. You're contractually bound. Actually, I'm not contractually bound. I just don't like talking about yeah. it anymore. That photo with you and Mick Roberts and the Moe and bears on the steps of TV3, is that iconic or what? Talk me through that moment. You know how you spend your whole life being really good and then there are moments when you're really, really bad? Because the news had just broken that he had resigned, I knew there were cameras staked outside TV3. Of course I did. Was that a really naughty thing to do? Yes, yes it was. We were not allowed to talk about it. We were all putting on a brave face and it just kind of was a nod to every single person who'd lost their job. See, you're the queen. That's why you're kind of like you. we we're we're feeling for you. Did you drink all that booze? Yeah, totally. <laughs> of course you would have. <laughs> now, because it's your birthday, we've got a nice surprise for you. It's amazing, all that confetti. Oh, what so a much. fucking mess. <laughs> Can you 
cut that bit out, I'll, I'll look grateful, but oh my God. Oh, I'm so sorry, I thought that you would like this. Look, it's gone everywhere. Here's the cake. Yeah, but wait, wait. We... <gasps> this is a, your first present? Thank but you. It's your only present, really. This is the biggest present I got today. Really? Yeah. You wait till you see it. <gasps> <laughs> what is it, you ask? Yeah. This is me being the baddest that I've ever been. Show everyone, show everyone that you're naughty, a little naughty side. Do you want me to guide you in, Hills? It's okay. It's just... I get what you did there again, I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> Love it. <gasps> what does it say? It says, the chosen one. Hilary Barry, shut up, you stupid <laughs> No one gives a fuck about your pedantic bullshit. Bloody picking every little thing out. <laughs> and I just say, fuck them. <laughs> Do you want to try some cake? Yes, please. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Send in the clowns. Okay, I'm going to do it. Who would like to help me first? Maybe the birthday girl. Mine. Oh. Happy birthday. Oh, okay. This is the best birthday ever. Yeah. 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 We come back here just like that, and that's how you make a dot. Blow there. That's it. Very nice. <laughs> that's for you. There's that one. There's that one. one. There. There's What's that? that? She's okay. pregnant. Do you get another one? I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> got a little fish like that. That's so cute! Yeah, Yay! Bye, when I say it's the best birthday ever, it really is. Really? Yeah. Do you think so? Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much! Happy birthday. <laughs> That was beautiful. Now scram! That was beautiful! <laughs> Get out, Thank rat! Thank you! Fucking Anika!